So this man held a hospital hostage to keep his brain dead son on life support. In 2015, George Pickering's son suffered a devastating stroke, leaving him in critical condition at a hospital in Texas. But although George was confident that his son would recover, he was horrified to soon learn that the doctors were planning on taking his son off life support. They told George that he was basically as good as dead, and even his wife had already agreed to let him go. However, despite this, George simply refused to give up on his son. You see, since his son had suffered many seizures in the past, George had already familiarized himself with a lot of the medical details and what danger signs to look out for. So that, plus his gut instinct just told him that his son wasn't quite dead yet. But since no one believed him and the nurses were already working to slowly remove his son from life support, George became desperate. After getting himself drunk to make everything easier, he brought a gun to the hospital and told all the medical workers to back off or he would kill them. Before long, an entire team of SWAT officers had the hospital surrounded. But it was only a couple hours later that George finally surrendered after he had felt his son squeeze his hand several times. Afterwards, his son went on to make a full recovery. And given the circumstances, George only ended up serving less than a year in prison. 